What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Since I'm talking about Insidious 5 in this video here today, going over three new cast members and a returning cast member who everyone has been waiting for. Not everyone, but I know a lot of you were. Rose Byrne will be back as Renee Lambert in the upcoming fifth entry in the Insidious franchise, which is slated to come out or was confirmed a few weeks ago to come out July 7th of next year. July 7th of 2023, we'll be reuniting with the Lambert family. We know that this movie was originally announced in late 2020 with uh, Patrick Wilson attached to direct. He's still going to be directing. It'll be his directorial debut. And at the time, we only had two cast members that we knew about. Patrick Wilson would also then be reprising his role as the head of the Lambert family and Josh Lambert. And then we had Ty Simpkins, who will be returning, reprising his role as Dalton Lambert, who we know was like the the focus of the target or the main target going into the original movie and we know him and his father share that astral projection thing so now we have three new cast members and we have some details that reconfirm what was already told to us about the direction of the movie back in 2020 when it was announced uh it is still going to be following dalton going off to college so that's exciting and of course that'll probably be the setting where all of the chaos ensues once he arrives on campus uh, i believe at the end of the second movie they both had their memory suppressed so i'm interested to see again how this all ends up coming back for them so it says here set 10 years after the end of insidious 2 josh lambert heads east to drop his son dalton off at an idyllic ivy covered university however dalton's college dream becomes a nightmare when the repressed demons of his past suddenly return to haunt them both so again going off of that what is it about the college campus or his college setting whatever he ends up doing on campus what is it that occurs that leads to us ultimately i would assume reuniting with the lipstick face demon i think that's that's the approach they're taking i'll get into that really quick i just want to talk about the cast members really quick shout out to you kyler i don't know if you made this collage but i saw you post it so i'm just going to shout you out so the cast members we have now are ty simpkins who we know as dalton uh renee lambert portrayed by rose Byrne, who's been confirmed and uh Patrick Wilson, who will be returning as Josh Lambert as well. And then we have the three new stars, Sinclair Daniel, Peter Dager, I believe it's how it's pronounced, and Hiam Abbas. So nice to have these three along for us. I don't know these three actors or actresses. If you're familiar with them, let me know some of the projects they've been in so I can check it out. I don't know who these who these three people are but you know nice to have them a part of the insidious family. The other person I think a lot of people will want back now is uh what is her name? Lynn Shape. Lynn Shea back as Elise. I do think that they will bring her back, but I think there's a chance that they might save her for a surprise for whatever reason. Not that she needs to be saved as a surprise, but I just think it would be nice to, of course, have Elise back in an Insidious movie. The last two were primarily prequel movies told from her perspective, and we got to know a little bit more about her and learn some of the connections that tied into the first two movies. Uh, so I want to see her again, and I think Lynn Shea again has been able to carry the franchise without us focusing on the Lamberts. It's just that everyone else with around Elise, I think, was a turnoff for most audiences. Elise and the Lamberts really was starting to just become what people were wanting to see because they were characters you grew invested in and characters you wanted to root for, but then they were just gone once the ip of course had to breathe new life into itself by ditching that and telling other stories which they they chose the right path to take with elise it's just that i don't think the overall execution has been something that many people were satisfied with given how i know a lot of people have been clamoring for the lamberts to come back and be the focus so this could end up being what i'll call the lambert trilogy uh i'll just probably primarily start watching insidious one and two i'll watch three and four when i want to but i primarily might I see myself skipping over three and four just to jump to five. But I want to talk about the lipstick face demon. The lipstick face demon, I believe that's who we will be focusing on as far as like Dalton and these repressed memories that come back to him or stuff from the past that comes back to haunt them both. I don't know if Parker Crane will actually show up, the bride in black. I think primarily what will go down is we see the lipstick face demon reemerge because it's been established out, I think, in this universe, given what happened between Josh and Parker Crane, who had been trying to grow, grow up and possess this man since he was a little boy, that his, his, his obsession with that and desire and mission to accomplish that did not stop and he actually accomplished that when josh was an adult and went into the further to rescue his son dalton 
So with Dalton being away at college, I would imagine what's going to happen is we're not going to be introduced to some new threat with Dalton. Dalton's going to come face to face with a thing that tried to take him when he was a child, tried to possess him when he was a little boy, put him in that coma. And that will be the lipstick face demon. Uh, and we're going to see these two duke it out one more time. We'll probably see him remember certain things because again they both had their memories suppressed at the end of the second movie so it'll be nice to see the directions they take with that i am again still not too sure on what they will do as far as like how dalton ends up back in the further i have talked about it in another video where maybe there's somebody on campus who actually has the ability to astral project and somehow dalton gets sucked into this uh because he starts to astral project again for whatever reason when he goes to college again i've talked about maybe there's a chance that he starts doing what a lot of people do in their teenage years maybe he's doing some drugs on campus and something from what he does ends in him doing what he used to do as a kid dreaming but going too far away from his astral body his astral body goes too far away from his physical body is what i meant to say and he'll end up right back in the grips of that lipstick face demon which will trigger a lot of terrifying memories josh and renee will get notified of it and they'll go to the college campus and they'll try to save their son probably bring specs and tucker back and hopefully again they bring in elise played by lynn shea i am curious to see how renee factors into this as i haven't talked about her too much in this video but knowing that rose byrne is back uh i hope that she is giving a substantial role in the movie as far as like how relevant she is to it and maybe they just use her i can see her honestly just being used as an emotional crutch for dalton if it ends if the movie ends up going in a route in which dalton seems like he's gonna die they could use his mother as something to remind him of not to let this thing overtake him remind him of who he is you know something reminiscent of how the original conjuring movie ended where uh the the, the mother of the family was reminded of this memory she had with her family at the beach and they just had a happy ending after that maybe they'll do something like that with a, with uh renee in this video or in this movie if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification in this video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video